One of the great features on iOS 9 is that if you have a picture here in your email, what you can do is you can now mark it up, and by that I mean you can draw on it, add text, and so on. So I'm using an iPad here, and what I'm going to do is just tap on the image. I'm going to tap again, and you'll see it comes up with markup. I'm going to tap on markup, and you'll see it now opens up in kind of another window. Down at the bottom, you'll see you've got various different tools, such as you have here, like a freehand button. And you'll see that that is highlighted. Next to that is magnify. Next to that is text. And then you can add a signature if you happen to have a signature in here. So with this one selected on the left-hand side, you can see that on the right, I have options where I can choose a color. I'll keep it on black. You can choose a line width, so I'll keep it on that, but you can see you can have medium and fine. And uh, over here, which isn't relevant for this bit, is I can choose my uh, fonts as well and the font size. Although if you're just writing on it, that wouldn't really make a difference. So this is a mixing board that I needed. So I could actually highlight something here, such as this. I could just draw a circle around it, not very well drawn. I could then go to my text over here. Let me tap on that again. And that's, whoops, every time I'm tapping on it, it's putting one in. And you can just see that if I move it around, I just need to change the color on that would help. So let's move that over to here. I could change the size. So I could tap in here again, tap on edit, and I could type in input. And then that's done. I just hide my keyboard. Could make that bigger by just dragging these little circles on the side. And I could then move that underneath here. There is another text one as well. If you tap on that, you've got options just like the other one to duplicate it or delete it. I'm going to choose delete. So this little magnify one here is actually quite interesting because if I wanted to magnify part of the picture to make it stand out, I'm simply going to tap on that. And I can move that around and you can see it magnifies it. And then I can drag it to make it bigger or smaller by dragging on that handle there. So I could actually highlight the name there, which you couldn't really see that clearly before. So you can easily do that. The other option is I can add a signature in here. So if I tap on that, I could sign my name, I'm not going to sign my name here and give away my signature, but if I tap on done, it would then keep that in there. So if I go back to signature, there it is, and I might just want to remove that, tap on that, tap on delete. So you could have more than one signature in there if you wanted it. Okay, so that is how you do the markup. That's on an iPad. Let's just take a quick look at it on the iPhone. So here it is on the iPhone. Again, I just tap on it, tap again, and there's the markup option. I just tap on markup. And the same thing happens in that it opens in another window. You can see slightly different layout here, but you can still do the same thing. You can choose the colors. So I'm going to choose, uh, actually, let's choose white on this occasion. And I might want to highlight that bank there. And then I might want to uh, right in here, tap on that. So I think I might tap there. And if I tap on the text, so as you can see, same as using it on the iPad. Let's just make that bigger. Tap on the text, tap edit, use these. And again, I can just tap on it. When I'm done, tap on that. And then I can just drag the handles and move them around. I could change the font. I could tap on that. I could reduce the font size if I felt that that would be a bit better or even change it to a different font. So you can see pretty similar to doing it on the uh, iPad, just slightly different layout. So that's how I can choose the size of what I'm going to use to draw here. And again, I can use the magnify. So I could pop that in there as well. When you're done, 
you just tap on done in the top right hand corner and then you're ready to send. So that's how you can mark up pictures on your iPhone and iPad using iOS 9. So one thing that could be useful is to take a map from your maps and actually mark it up in here as well. So you can go to maps and by pressing the home and power button at the same time, it takes a screenshot and that then ends up in your camera roll and you can just insert it into here. And then by tapping on it and tapping again, you get markup and you could then indicate, I'm just gonna go back to the black option and I could say, that's where we're gonna meet. So that's another really useful one by being able to take a map, take a snapshot of it. So screen capture, you hold down the home button and you then press the power button. So I can do this here. You'll see that it will flash home, power, and then you can see it flash there. So that gives it to me. So what I do is I press the home button uh, just for a moment and then press. So within a second, I sort of do that, trying to press them both simultaneously. Does work too, but you might find that it's just easier to press one and then quickly press the other. So that's the markup feature in iOS 9. It does work on email on your Mac as well.